With school out and classrooms empty for the summer, the Dodge County Sheriff's Office is taking advantage of those empty schools. It's all in an effort to keep your kids safe. NBC 15's Zach Nugent takes us along for a special active shooter training drill that you'll see only on NBC 15. There have been threats in, in schools in our area. We don't want to be complacent. We don't want to think that it's not going to happen here. Show me your hands! Show me your hands! Because of the moment that you think that Come something will happen. It's a terrifying thought for any parent. An armed suspect entering your child's school. Why do you have a gun? Across the country, we've seen it happen before, and it's a potential threat that law enforcement takes seriously. That's why deputies and police in Dodge County are doing this special training. So we want to be prepared and uh, a school is a perfect setting that we can do a multitude of different scenarios because of the different rooms, uh, like a gymnasium or a classroom, hallways. Using what's called simunition rounds, similar to paintballs, the goal is to create a realistic, high-stress atmosphere. In this scenario, two armed bank robbery suspects have run into St. Stephen's School in Horicon. We are able to simulate as close as we can to a real life scenario, what it's going to be like. The noise, the recoil of a firearm, the interaction, verbal interaction between uh, suspects or students or faculty and officers. It also simulates if we ever are hit by a, a, a round. It gives us a, an opportunity to understand um, where some of those shots might be coming from and we need to be a little bit more tactical in our approaches. Throughout the scenario, the participants are coached. Jeremy in the middle, Scotty on the other side, get on this flank. They're reminded of best practices and different strategies. That's even better. All right, holster up. We want them to know what they're doing is correct. We're not setting them up to fail. We want to keep the scenarios winnable. This is your threat. Don't let your guys get shot in the back as they're making entry into the room. It makes you feel better when you succeed. If you're constantly failing, you just don't think there's a way you can win. This particular drill hits close to home for Deputy Mike Morrell. I have three children in this school and I have three nieces and a nephew that are going to go to this school. Um, one of the things we try and do is we try and move our training to all of the schools in Dodge County because it allows our officers to get in each school. So the first time they come in to the school is not going to be a live incident. Before we actually go into a scenario, um, in real life, we want to have trained on it first. Um, and if we're able to train on it first, we can be better effective when we go into the real life situation. A situation they hope they're never called to, but are now better prepared to handle. If we have a situation happen here, we want to be ready for it. In Horicon, Zach Nugent, NBC 15 News. The school's head trustee, Ben Schwartz, says they try to be very supportive of law enforcement in the community, and they were happy to help out and offer the school for training. But, of course, he hopes there will never be a need for authorities to use this training in a real-life scenario.